Well, welcome back to uh, uh, part two of how to build a tripod hoist using um, basement floor jacks. So in the earlier model, I have had I've disassembled this. I had it in the standing position earlier. But one of the things that we need to do uh, is earlier we had drilled, um, realized that we need to create an elongated hole. So first I had drilled a uh, 11 16 hole one inch uh, from the edge, one inch on center from the edge on all three um, legs. But then what I realized is that uh, when all three of them are straight across and bolted together, basically the legs would not splay out. So I drilled this second hole uh, about two inches on center from the base and that allowed the leg to splay out. So now what I just did with my uh, 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 cutoff wheel is basically just uh, created this elongated hole just on one side and I'll do the same over here and really just cut this tab out. Uh, so really no, don't need to show you how to do that. Uh, uh, if you've gotten this far, um, you know how to work with tools and do it yourself. So uh, again, cutting this uh, cross piece out of here to make this. Now when I put the bolt in, this leg will either fold straight or for storage or splay out for a standing and lifting position. The other thing I've done is uh, these kits come with a floor plate or, or support plate. And basically I thought, well, I need something to put on the end of the tubes, end of the, uh, the, f the foot to keep it from digging into the dirt uh, and the pipe filling up with uh, dirt and possibly also putting a point of some type into it uh, to keep it from, uh, to, to anchor in and to keep it from splaying out. Additionally, uh, we needed to figure out a, a means to um, connect some type of a chain or a rope to keep the legs from splaying out. And, one of the things I've decided to try to use, number one for ease of assembly, is uh, hitch pins. And these are 5 8 diameter, uh, grade 5, so they're probably sturdier than the uh, bolts that came with the kit, uh, which, are, which are like this. So I've used one of those bolts just as a stop. Um, so that when I put in one of the tubes, um, I can push it in all the way up to the stop or I can use one of the pin holes to adjust the length. So again, uh, using the materials I had in a little trial and error, uh, let me show you how this assembles. So you got a smaller diameter hitch pin. Uh, this is about a 3 8 diameter. And basically, we were able to bend it just right so I could align it. And then the, the pin would go through. And now this provides some type of a foot or base so that, uh, again, it's more, it uh, doesn't accumulate or dirt does not fill up in there. Uh, it may also provide a, a hole, that hole I could put a, uh, some type of a bolt or a uh, pin I've seen uh, to kind of anchor it in the ground uh, like a spike. Uh, the other thing that uh, I think that I'll use this for is also if I want to put a chain arrestor or to keep it from splaying, um, because these pin handles, I couldn't find a, a hitch pin 
like those red ones, those have a welded handle on it. Um, these handles are simply cinched in. So I think what I'll do is we'll put a washer on there, insert this in our, or insert this, excuse me, put a washer on it. Let me tip that over. This plus a washer plus our pin. And now we've got a place to slip a rope or an anchor or a chain um, from leg to leg to keep them from splaying out. So let's take that off and I'll show you uh, the general concept. Took a little trial and error on how to build or shall I say bend and make use of a part that comes with the uh, uh, jack stands or uh, uh, floor jacks. So I cut a piece of wood that's the same diameter as our um, pipe, our largest pipe, and uh, after a little trial and error, those pins didn't line up. These I simply bent the wrong direction. This one I got right. So we're trying to make two more of those. Um, and then the other thing uh, possibly we could also use that uh, uh, clip hook on this hole to uh, if if you didn't want to uh, use it over on the side we could use it down here and hook it into here to attach a chain or a rope or something like that so I've kind of got this uh, piece marked and centered and I know basically that we're trying to fold this end up so this hole is approximately centered and this flap up so it's pro pro properly centered or, or approximately centered so that our pin can go through. The other two holes you see here, we're trying to place the bend right on the edge of that hole and that hole. So basically I'll go ahead and uh, uh, align this, check the back side and see if we are aligned center to center. And then basically, we'll just put this in the vise and use a little, not a little, but we'll clamp it in there and, excuse me, we'll pound it this way, pound it over to create this end project product. So, let me uh, pause and do a little uh, scribing here and we'll get back. Okay, so I've marked this with a uh, Sharpie and basically those are going to be my bend points. So I want the bend to be just on the uh, inside of this uh, bolt hole. As you can see this uh, previously completed one. So let's clamp it in the vise and uh, pound away. So you see we'll get it clamped in the vise and now I'll use a three pound hammer to uh, bend it into uh, 90 degrees. And then we'll flip it over and bend this one 90 degrees as well. So no need for you to watch and listen to that. So we'll uh, pause and show you the results. Okay, just for a little entertainment. Uh, so we do have starting to pound away. and making a nice solid hit along this line will give us a, a nice square uh, edge. Got a little curling up so let's tap down on the back side but essentially that bend is basically done. So we'll loosen it up uh, reclamp on the other side, bend it over, and uh, that'll be the, uh, that's how we create this footing. So, elongate the holes on the end and create our foot from the supplied um, stock. And then make sure you are bending so that this dimple 
goes up inside the, uh, the tube, uh, or at least that's how I did it. So um, it's, and uh, that's essentially how they're designed. That'll help hopefully keep this from slipping around uh, uh, if there's a little play in our bolt hole and size of pin that we're using. So one more uh, bend and bang, and then we're done with uh, uh, this foot plate. So we're just about done, just take a little more finesse here. And basically our finished product. Looks like the, hopefully the pin should align well enough, close enough to uh, not have to re-drill, but we'll check on that. And uh, one more and we're done. So need three of these total, one to go. And I think you get the idea. So uh, that's uh, kind of the end of part two of our um, uh, tripod lifting uh, device or, uh, or chain hoist tripod lift.